my phone rang as I was about five minutes away from um, the, my fitness class, and it was my friend. And normally I would not answer, but I did. And she said, um, are you aware there's a shooting in Sandy Hook? An email came through the school messenger system saying schools are in lockdown. And, uh, and then the local media reporting says shooting at the school. And that was quite a shock because in, in Sandy Hook in Newtown, uh, shootings were unheard of. I pick, happened to pick up on social media, not just one person shot, but 26 people dead. And I just ran into the firehouse and there are just mothers and fathers and kids everywhere. And I ran into one room and you're just seeking the faces that you recognize. And someone said, Nicole, Jake's over here. And that was, that was good, but I hadn't actually seen him. Uh, someone else said, "Who are you? Who? Which? Which teacher is your other son in?" And I said, "Miss Soto." And this one mother, I feel so bad for her. She said, "I heard she was shot." And I said, "Don't you dare say that to me if you don't know it's true." And I just kind of pushed her out of the way and kept going in. And I kept—I could see all the kindergarten classes, but I couldn't see Dylan's class. The kids were all leaving with their parents. And you just start wandering around thinking, well, where's mine? And that's when they herded, nicely herded, um, a bunch of us into another room. And it was around three o'clock that they came in to give their status report. And really, you know, it had to be announced at that point that, you know, everybody that was left in the school was, was dead. Um, and that's really when everybody in the room realized that, that whoever they, they were missing, whether it was... Uh, um, one of the adults or one of the children, that they were gone. Um, Can you possibly describe that scene? Um, it's funny because you spent two hours fearing the worst, and then that's that moment that your fears are realised. And, and because it's a child, that's not even when you can prepare yourself for. Um, but, but, but just imagine that situation that you're worried about something and you run through various scenarios in that two hours of what you'll do, and then it comes upon you and you, your mind almost goes blank. It was on Saturday um, that the rest of the names were released, I think, and that's when we knew that uh, of the other children in his class that had died and his teacher and his aide. Dylan was wrapped in Mrs. Murphy's arms. She was protecting several children, but Dylan was the one that was actually in her arms, and that, um, that helps a little bit. I'm guessing you met Barack Obama. Yes. Right? He's about to outline his concrete policy proposals in response to this tragedy. What do you both want to hear from the president? That um, he will address many different topics. There's not just one topic here that's a problem, OK? Um, responsible gun ownership is there. Uh, mental health and how we bring up our children and how we act in society. There's so many different areas. There's only a number of those that legislation will cover. The rest we as a as society must tackle. But those that legislation does cover, that he's prepared to take on all of those. Do you fear that after the shock, after the sympathy, at the end of the day, Congress won't be able to do or won't choose to do anything? The unthinkable has happened. All of the shootings that come before have indeed been terrible tragedies, but now it's sunk so low that, that very small children are about now being the target of this. You know, how could it possibly get worse? And therefore, if they cannot address this now, it's as if they, they think they can never address it and they will give up and this will go on. So they, they have to address this. You, you, seem, you seem strong. Well, I think if you have a child, you have to, you have to be strong for them. I mean, we are very busy. Um, with Dylan's fund and advocating with Sandy Hook Promise on behalf of Dylan, but you you also have to devote a significant amount of time to your child that's still alive as well and maintain a, a sense of a new normality for his sake um, to help him get through this, and that helps us get through it yeah. as well. Will you stay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're staying in Newtown. Newtown's a wonderful place, and... Um, this single event isn't going to undermine that.